Hey guys, WC Cougar X. Thought I'd do a quick video showing the uh, rear draw stiffener that came on the S209 for the VA uh, Subaru WRX STI. Uh, I decided to get this part. I'll probably get some more STI parts to put on my uh, 2020 STI here. But I just want to show you the components. Um, as you know, this fits right behind the uh, rear seats. It goes along um, the back end of the car. Um, I really hemmed and hawed about ordering parts overseas as I didn't know, you know, what I would actually get. If it would be damaged or what the process would be to, you know, kind of recoup my costs and get exchange of parts or whatnot. So I ordered these through uh, Japan Parts. Didn't know anything about them. Still was a real, little reluctant to order overseas, but you know what? Japan Parts, I mean, they knocked it out of the park. They did a really good job. So the reason why I looked at overseas was because... I noticed that the parts here in the U.S. were just ridiculous. Uh, so let's do an example. So on the flex draw stiffener here for the rear, I was seeing prices anywhere between 480 to 500 bucks uh, before shipping. And then the, on the uh, the guard for the flex draw stiffener, that was hovering around 350 to 400 bucks for that part alone. So I turned to uh, JapanParts.com uh, where they do the the full uh, ex exchange as far as what you're going to be paying in U.S. prices. So for the uh, flex draw stiffener, I ended up paying $220 uh, U.S. dollars. And then for the guard, it was $151. Bucks. So, I mean, combined total, it was about $370 bucks compared to almost $800 bucks for these two parts if you bought them here in the U.S. So, And shipping wasn't really too much. It was about $111. And along with that, I also got this little... Uh, STI gurney flap right here on top of the uh, the wing here. So I'll show you the components that you, uh, that you actually get uh, when you get these parts. And I got them laid out here on the driveway. So as you'll notice, the actual flex draw stiffener is right up here on the top. Uh, this is adjustable. And I haven't looked in the instructions as far as um, what we're supposed to set the, uh, the tension at. But uh, I might get to it in a later video. I don't know. Um, I'm just showing you the components here has the uh, the template over here as far as what you're supposed to do as far as cutting the uh, the carpet in the trunk and they also give you the little cutout to put on there to make sure you get it exactly where you need to go and then on the uh, the guard itself um, it's pretty straightforward there's the guard itself and the cherry blossom pink or red whatever they call it instruction manual uh, manning hardware and when you do get this in the box, this template right here where it shows you where to drill the holes is actually taped to the inside of the box. It doesn't come out separately because it is taped in there. So just be careful. Don't crush your box and rip it to shreds um, until you get that template out there. And it shows you, uh, like I said, the mounting holes. So that, that mounting hole pertains to that. That mounting hole pertains to that. And then at the bottom down here, they got these little plus marks, which is for the two uh, inside mounting parts. So you will have to drill into your vehicle in order to mount this. Uh, the mounting holes for the stiffener itself are already there from the factory. The only thing you have to do with this is, like I said, you have to cut the carpet. So I hope this helps somebody out. And I'm hoping to hopefully get the uh, front lower stiffeners as well. But that's a video for another day, and I need to save up money. One recommendation I can give to anybody buying parts, doesn't matter what it is, have the money first. Don't go into debt. Not a very smart idea. All right. WCU Cougar X out.